All right, we have Managing Depression for Virgo. All right, this just talks about certain things you may want to ask a professional, a therapist, doctor, or maybe a community of support people. You know, they have support groups sometimes for uh, depression or anxiety groups. I just help you work on ways to handle certain situations and resolve problems easier. Which I think is a good thing for some communities just to have something that would be a resource to the community to deal with stress. Because some people deal with stress in many different ways that might not be the healthiest. So it, it, it'll help, you know. I'm trying to move my camera around. Sorry if that gives anybody a uh, swift stomach as they say um okay so we have purse pay attention to your finances we have lion we have time to act we have a cloud temporary problems we have success we have ram we have stubborn aggressive person we have a ring we have a marriage will take you will take place either romantic or business related we have a desk we have pay attention to your work all right let's see what represents your depression? We have um, skeptical. You may feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. I think goals are important because a lot of people outgrow their own goals or they don't think that they can succeed at their goals because they put them too high. Okay, um, something um, you need to learn about your depression. We have trampoline. Uh, we have temptation will test you. Alright. An action that can um, help you with your depression. We have typography work. A wish that cannot be granted. So I feel like you're wishing for something that's impossible to get. I feel like... You might be wanting the perfect, like, partner, but you're not adding the fact that you need a perfect partner for you, and you want to be the perfect partner for them. Okay, if it's a romantic thing, if it's a business thing, you want to find a business that you can manage or that you can give, like, the goals that are required for the job so that you're an asset. You know, you have to kind of manifest it more dutifully, where it's like, I can be an asset to this company, or I can be an asset to a, um, to a relationship, or to a business partnership, or to my best friend who's going through a tough time, or they can be a benefit to me when I go through the same thing, you know, a give and take type of thing. A lot of people forget about, maybe I should kind of look from all sides of the thing so I can be a good person to myself, others, and maybe, you know, just all the way down the line, you know. Okay, how can you show yourself more compassion? We have industry, uh, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Alright, like I said, you want to be an asset to something, okay? Okay, how can you find joy in your life? We have merchant, we have dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. They might have something that you need. It could be like a food um, cart or restaurant that will have like something that you like or something that's like your favorite. Could be a food deal, it could be something else um, that you find as an asset to your personal life or everyday life. Um, so a reason to stay strong, we have fashion. Somebody is going out of your life or the end of a situation that you've been kind of guessing. And, you know, I don't think it's a surprise. I just think it had to come to an end because it was at a stalemate, maybe. Um, anyway, Virgo, hopefully this helped you out. I know it's, you know, talks about depression, but a lot of people go through depression or points of anxiety or stress. Where they feel like they're not needed or they feel like they can't they have nothing to offer okay and you want to be an asset to a situation people your own plans 
in your own environment, basically. And a lot of people, they lose themselves in what they need to do and what's expected out of them. But you should actually be more of a um, kind of a jack-of-all-trades at some point. Um, I became a jack-of-all-trades. It's a learned behavior. It's not anything that, like, you can learn it overnight. I mean, it's like, it's going to take time to become that person that is needed, you know. Um, you know, not one thing's going to be good. I think having a multitude of different interests or assets or special <laughs> experiences will help a situation too. So you might want to become a well-rounded person, find out what your likes, dislikes, your music tastes, um, and try to like expand on your belief system. A lot of times people stay to one belief system and they don't really um, put the right seasoning and marinate on it. Let's put it to you that way. I'm thinking about food too much. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody's like, I'm hungry now, Karen. Stop it. Um, but yeah, usually, you know, you have to kind of um, make it into a consumable menu item. Let's put it to you that way. Another food analogy, but you know food helps you know food everybody can like look at and say yeah that's a similar thing in many different levels you know okay anyway Virgo hopefully that helped you out food analogies weren't too much and you kind of get what I was saying um with depression always look for a professional to help you out with resources and what you need out of a situation whether it be a community group that um, kind of has a support group meeting or a professional therapist or a doctor that could prescribe something or give you other resources to help you out um, relieve stress or um, help you resolve issues that you may have with certain things that you may be coping with. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Take care of yourselves, take care of everyone, and I will see you in the next reading. All right. Later.